Hi everyone and welcome back to this channel. My name is Coach Mahadir and today I will be giving my feedback or rather a critique, an analysis on the new world champion of public speaking, Verity Price. Now, this video is just for me to just share my thoughts, my ideas and what I thought she did well and what are some areas which I thought that maybe could be a little bit more refined. And this is just my personal opinion. I do not speak for all other coaches out there nor do I speak for Verity. And if Verity Price, if you're watching this, maybe you could leave a comment on what do you think about this video. So let's get straight into it. Now, there are many things that I really liked and enjoyed about Verity's speech. So I'll start off with this. The first thing that I liked is the message. Her message is very simple, which is to pick up a pen, write your own story. It will make for a great read and you know, a miracle may happen. And the one thing that makes it so unique is she changed the way that a typical message would be, which is to write your own story, and she changed it into, it will make for a great read. Now, if someone were to come out on stage and to say, write your own story, write your own story, it would be a message that has been overused or something that we've heard a million times. But what she did nicely was to change that into focusing on the read after you have written your story and I really like that. And not only is that message really relatable, it is also universal. Anyone and everyone can relate and use this message in their own personal life. Now the second thing that I like is the moment she started her speech. So notice that she started with her story of a dad and herself but very subtly. She said that as a child, her dad used to read her stories and she loves fairy tales and all that. And why I thought this was so powerful is because this was a great setup to who the character of the father is and the relationship with her dad. So later on in the story, you will notice that she brought up her father again and how it connects the story together of how the father is and how she is. So it's a great setup for the character to come in later. The next thing that I like is within the first 30 seconds, she introduced the character setting, who the characters were, as well as the problem statement, which is by the time she was 40, she's still unmarried, there's no children, and she's living in her sister and brother-in-law's spare room. I love that because the problem came in very quickly. Sometimes, most speakers tend to bring in the problem later, which means that they try to set up, set up, set up, and then the problem comes in later. But audience, they love to know what happened next. And very quickly, because when you spend too much time in the character setting phase, most of the time the audience are already bored. So what she did really well is to put in the problem as quickly as possible. Another thing that I like is she talked about fairy tale at the start of the speech and then there was a moment in time where she changed it into scary tale. Wow, I like that. It is a simple switch of words but it can really have the effect on how she is feeling about her current situation. The next thing that I really liked about her speech is she is really authentic as a storyteller. She's not overly dramatic like some speakers that we've seen out there, but she really knows how to keep this conversational. As I'm watching her presentation, what I'm seeing is more of like she is at a dinner table giving this story to a group of friends. That is how I felt. And I believe that that's what storytellers should be doing. We shouldn't be doing too many theatrics. We shouldn't be doing too much drama and acting. So what she did was just a perfect, nice mix. The next part that I like is, you know the part where she said that she went out to go and buy some ice cream and then all of a sudden she met that friend. Now this is one line that I thought she did extremely well. And she said, that friend, you know the one. Now the reason why she did this is because everyone would probably meet a friend like that. Now what makes this line really powerful is because it makes me feel that I am imagining a friend of mine in that position instead of her friend. Next thing that I thought that she done really well, she made her dad's character extremely likable. It is not easy to make a character so likable, yet at the same time authentically likable. And I thought she did that very wonderfully. In fact, she made me have this personal connection with her father, which made me feel a personal connection to the dad even though I've never met the dad. And that is what I really like. So this is a well-crafted part of the speech which brings the dad's character to life with 
personalization. So Verity here has written a really well done speech as well as delivered it in a manner that is so conversational yet touching. Now, if I may recommend, and this is just my own personal recommendation, again, uh, Verity, this is just what I think that can be touched up a little bit, but again, you are the judge, jury, and executioner, and those who are watching, you may have different ideas, so please comment below on what you think about Verity's speech and what do you think about the recommendation. The first thing that I'd like to talk about is when she greeted the contest chair, and she said, contest chair, have you ever noticed that at your worst, you always run into someone at their best. Now, I like that she used this form of questioning because it ties in very nicely to who she's meeting later in the supermarket as she's buying ice cream. Now, the thing is, I felt that when she just said, contest chair, have you ever, da -da -da -da, it seemed to me that she's only talking or addressing the contest chair. So perhaps she could try to address the other members of the audience, or better yet, drop the line contest chair and just go straight into that transition. Because she went on from saying, binge watching Netflix. Now, what I thought could be better here is, instead of saying contest chair, she could just say, one day I ran out of ice cream, so I went to the supermarket and oh, have you ever noticed that at your worst, you always run into someone at their best? Something like that. The transition would be better and I believe everyone in the audience would have connected with you there. Now the second part that I thought could be a little bit better, in my opinion, is that she went back home and she said that her room was a mess and she said that in that mess, I found a letter. Now I personally feel that this transition was a little bit too quick or too sudden to find that piece of letter. So perhaps if I may recommend, maybe you could try, as I went back into my mess, searching for my remote control, I found a familiar letter from my dad. Perhaps that way we could be able to connect better because I felt that when you found that letter, all of a sudden in that mess and that transition, it was a little bit too sudden for me to connect to that letter. Now the next one I thought could be better was when she said, she stopped kissing frogs. This was much later in the speech. Now, I believe that Verity was trying to add a punchline here to get us to laugh. Now, personally for me, I felt that I couldn't connect to this joke very well because maybe it didn't hit me or maybe this was not built up in the earlier parts of the speech. Maybe in the start of the speech, if she were to say that, I went out on many dates to find my Prince Charming, but I never found them. I only found frogs, something like that at the start of the speech, then this punchline would make more sense. Now, just one final recommendation. This is when she said the line, real life is full of detours, delays, and things that don't go our way. Now, perhaps you could try using an anaphora where it could sound like, real life is full of detours, delays, and derails, where things don't go our way. Uh, so the D, 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 I thought maybe just could play a little bit so that it sounds a little bit nice and maybe more impactful for the audience. Now, overall, Verity, congratulations for being the 2021 World Champion of Public Speaking and definitely this would make a great read for you. And I'm sure you have inspired many of us as Toastmasters to want to become the world champion or just to be a better speaker, communicator, and leader. So thank you so much everyone for watching. If you like this kind of content, why not drop a like, share, and subscribe for more videos like this. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.